Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to go over assembly of a Juki cover stitch sewing machine 7523 uh, made by Juki a flat bed as you know they, they come both uh, flat and a cylinder bed this is 7523 a flat bed and we're going to go over how to assemble and um, all the, uh, the question that you may have that we're going to cover. Uh, we have this item on our website and uh, again people that buy this from our website and need to assemble it they have many questions so we'll try as we assemble these items in our warehouse here I try to make some videos and show it to you guys so this is the head and as you know everything that we sell comes head table legs motor led lamps and all that good stuff okay so this is a fully submerged uh sewing machine meaning when it's sitting on the table it's going to be fully submerged uh what we did is this is two section table top and bottom we have done the top and this is the back of the table this is the other side would be the front again very heavy duty tables and this is the lower tables and uh, you'll get everything in there this is the top table bottom table the machine will be sitting here and as you see there are holes for the motor the motor goes here this is the screws that come with the table that goes from this small table to the larger table and everything that you get with the machine with the table uh, would be very easy to assemble and very easy to adjust there are many screws here holes here but the lower table could be used for other sewing machine too the most important part is the top table that would fit and usually we have everything uh, marked so lower table we already use the screws we put the screws on motor goes here adjustment if you see here the, this has a very big hole so you could adjust the uh, table left and right so this is the top and then we have here the K legs that are already done and we have a K leg uh, uh, video already that if you want to see so uh, that one you already seen and that's not a big deal so you know how to put the calyx here we have the item that comes with the machine uh, the uh, drawer this is a food lifter pedal and all the accessories that comes with it um, more accessories in the back a set of screws tweezers accessories that come to the machine some extra needles thread stand a bracket to hold the machine all these are to fasten the machine and the motor to the table chain and brushless gold star new take machine and lamps and led lamps and covers when we come back we'll go ahead and turn the table around and we're going to go ahead and show you how it's done how it's assembled and how it's put together we'll try the machine and we sew it off so you have an easier time assembling the machine at home uh, stay and we'll show you how these things work so as you could see we have put in the, t the legs on the table there are the lower table is pre-holed so there are holes uh, with this one we had to adjust a little bit the, the hole but when you get this hundred percent it's going to be holes are going to be there you're not going to have any problem all the holes are perfect so there are two brackets that come down with the machine and goes right underneath the smaller table the way you see it you want to make sure you have enough room to put from here with the two inch and you leave whatever you have off here for your dryer and here is going to go the uh, the control box for the motor and 
this is it that's the way it's gonna look we're gonna come back there are also holes inside for your screw to go in there everything is included make sure you'll see that the way this is done is um, screw to the table and it's not coming from the other side out it's screwing to this one right here so we'll come back when we turn this uh, table around and show you how to set up the machine on top of the table. So we have installed the drawer right here. It would be when the, you're sitting in front of the table, it's going to be to your, I got to figure it out, it's going to be to your left. Because the right, we're going to put in the, uh, here, it's going to be to your left. The drawer and the on and off switch and you see on the back. We're going to be using a brushless motor, so we're going to have uh, uh, all those uh, holes for the variety of stuff that you want to do. We'll, the drawer installed, and we're going to come back and we're going to draw the install the motor right here, and uh, we'll take. Okay, it we have installed the brushless motor. Again, everything is uh, pre-hold the table. There is a two screws that goes here, one screw in the front, this is where the belt is gonna go, and this is how we did the wiring to the back. So we're gonna go ahead after this, we're gonna turn this around, and we're gonna go ahead and install the sewing machine. Uh, you're gonna love it. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so as you see, we assembled the table and uh, the lower table also installed and this is the door that's how it's going to be so the machine is going to be sitting right here where the, all these four pushing doors right here and it's going to be what we call this the flat bed fully submerged table this is that's how it's going to be and this is the motor now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and put in the... So now we're going to put in the head. And see, we're going to have the four Plus, cushions. We're going to have four of these and it's not, it's not in the back, it's not in the uh, place. You have to pick that up. Now it's in, close it. Now, you see here, we don't want, we want this to be flat. So what we're gonna do, we have this edge right here, we're gonna go and lower this screw right here, four side, and it's gonna be all flat. Then we're gonna put the tables in, the belt and the cover, and we're gonna put in the uh, thread stand and all that, and we're gonna get it going. So four screws on four sides or more, one, two, three, and two in the front. We're gonna adjust the height, and we're gonna be good. So here, as you could see, we have put in the machine inside the uh, table. Again, this is fully submerged. We have uh, adjusted the, the bed, and we have also uh, put on the thread stand, the belt cover, the motor and then there is just a uh, chain to the bottom food lifter and we have set up the pedal the ball joints the way you see it so everything is set the machine is done all the accessories are inside here and we're gonna come back and we're gonna thread this out and we're going to show you how this is going to uh, sew. Okay, so here we put in the thread. And uh, for those of you that calling and say how hard is it to put the thread on, it is not hard at all. Uh, the way we're going to do it is going to be uh, really the easiest way. See, we get the thread from the old thread that was already in there and we tie them up and we go on we pull them out all the way down uh, you have three thread on top 
one thread on the bottom and uh, one thread for the top loop stitch so this is the, the door that's how you open it up here this is the door and get, it gets locked flat this is for flat sewing if you want to do you could get rid of this and this do different type of sewing uh, this is gonna be the way it's gonna go this is top and bottom uh, cover stitch three needle on top one looper thread and one top stitch a needle guard and you could get it up one of the thread on the top to make it two needle cover a stitch or three top and bottom both it's very easy uh, the threading everything is right here whenever you're gonna have now whenever you're gonna be doing a uh, threading the bottom as you could see it's very very simple the threading everything going up to the loopers and all of that we're gonna thread this and we're gonna come back and we're gonna run it again this is for Juki MF-7523 uh, class U11-B64 B64 means 6.4 millimeter it between the two needles on top uh, we'll be back and we're gonna start sewing with it all right so we assembled the machine we have put the thread in there, the five thread. I'm just going to show you the stitching. Um, you see the, as you see the stitch right here. Uh, we got we. I did multicolored thread, so you could see the different. There is three needles here uh, for the top. Three thread. One, two, three. Uh, we could take either one out to make it two thread, or keep it as three thread. You could take this one out to make these two going. We could take this one out to go this two going or we could take this one out to get this two going so we could we could make it one eighth stitch or three or quarter right now with quarter three needle top and top and bottom okay so three needle top and bottom you see this is the bottom of the stitch this is the top if we take the top looper out which is this then it's gonna be it's going to be only two needle on top and the bottom like this but right now we have three needle on top so this is gonna so this is you could uh, it's on a brushless motor you could adjust the speed and you got the LED lamps both on here and we have one right here okay so foot lift and just for you guys to just see how this thing is gonna work I'm going very very slow but this even slow cover stitch uh, table top fully submerged uh, accessories everything is ready to go this is going to be shipped out tomorrow so that's how you assemble one of these juki mf7523 uh sewing machine again three needle you could take do two needle you could do four thread or you could do five thread thank you for watching please follow us our uh, youtube channel like thumbs up and thank you for watching website goldstartool.com